is a voltmeter. Here are the parts. This board just looks really, really cool. It's nicely labeled which pieces go where. It's high quality. It also comes with two alligator clips and a wire for them to attach. This you solder into the board, and then you have the option of pulling this in or pulling it out so you can replace these without having to redo the project. A 7133 transistor. It's a potentiometer. Two 104 ceramic capacitors. A 0.47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Comes with an on and off switch. One diode with a bunch of resistors. And then it comes with this block for protection. And this is great. First over here you have the screen, you have the microcontroller. It also gives you one of these where you plug the microcontroller into this piece and then this gets soldered into the board. Just like those alligator clips, you can remove this if you need to. Here's a view of all the pieces together. I'm really excited about this project. Let's get to it. Begin your soldering on the back side over here, the one that labels these resistors. Sure, these are 220 ohm resistors. So when you're done, you should have this one resistor in the front and seven of them in the back. The electrolytic capacitor goes right over here. The two ceramic capacitors, they are 104s. One goes over here and then the other over here. The on and off switch goes in S1. Now I'll attach the diode. The gray band on the diode is going to go on this side of D1. The potentiometer goes here with the screw going right over this piece. The 7133 transistor goes in position U2 with the rounded part of the transistor facing outwards. The piece for the voltometer cord goes over here. There are two more resistors. The 110 resistor goes here. The 10K resistor goes over here. First, we'll solder this to the board, and this goes to the back side of the board, right over here. The next step is to put the screen with the decimal places on the bottom. Then strip the end of the wire and attach the clips to them. The last thing to do is to add the stand. This is the finished product and I gotta say it is really, really cool. Let me show you how it works. Say if I wanted to check this, uh, I'd attach the negative to the negative, the positive to the positive. And there we go, it says 9.9 .9 volts. Let's check how much is in this guy. 8.3 volts. For comparison, this is reading it as 8.28. .8. So it's time for some thoughts. First thing that I'd say is I'm very impressed. It is a beautiful board. I like that you're able to remove the chip in case it burns out. Um, I like the sleek design. I appreciate the fact that they threw in a little stand for it and it is a very useful item. I mean, it, it really works like it's supposed to. There are very few downsides. One of them is that the leads are pretty short. Um, another that this only works uh, if you're running positive to negative, if the voltage is in the correct direction. I noticed that if you're running it backwards, uh, it's not able to pick that up. But for something really cheap, this is awesome. 4.5 out of 5 stars.